Good morning guys. I woke up feeling kind of under the weather, but I really don't like being unproductive. If you're new here, by the way, my name is Paige Poppy. I am an artist. And um, yeah, I woke up not feeling too hot, but I still like to get things done. So, so I made an effort to at least do my hair and get to work. So I thought we could do a vlog style video today because I'm always bopping around doing things. Oh my gosh. Shaky tripod. Makeshift tripod. We're currently on a tool supply box and a candle. <laughs> But I've really been obsessed with Casey Neistat's vlogs lately and I just love watching them and it like has me in the mood. First up today, you guys may be familiar with this print which is one of the most popular in my shop. It is called the Rainbow Bloom Watercolor Print and it's only in a 5x7 size but everyone asks me if I make it bigger and I can't make it bigger because if I blew it up larger the quality of the painting would get ruined and it wouldn't look as good. So. I was commissioned to do a larger version, so I'm doing an 8x10 right now. Really loving how vibrant the colors are looking, and I'm working uh, from this one as a reference, but mostly just enjoying the process, making some rainbow blooms, and it looks really beautiful in 8x10 size. Here's the progress we've got going on. I'm loving the vibrancy. Hot pink. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And it doesn't serve you or your clients ultimately, right? And But a lot of times I think a lot of entrepreneurs don't stop to think about what those values ultimately are. So we have to say yes to everything. This baby is done. Super excited about it. Um, not only does painting big give you a bigger impact because it's more to look at, but you really can get in there with more details, sharp lines, lots of shadows, a lot of, just a lot of detail. And it really makes the painting come to life. Since finishing this, I have protected it, but I need to photograph it. But since doing that, I have been answering a bunch of emails and doing some written work this morning. One thing you may not realize about being an artist is that you do a ton of like computer uh, email work, which is fine. I actually really enjoy it because um, it's nice to take a break from painting and like switch into a different mindset. And I also enjoy making videos a lot so I can go back and forth between the two things and now I can also go back and forth between my two spaces, the one outside that I have. So I get to really switch my mindset. Speaking of which, I'm going out into the garage now. I have a client interested in some custom painted longboards and I have two in stock right now on hand. So I am going to quickly measure them. Took a photo to send him as well. Gonna fire that off. Did you guys see this article? <laughs> Ecuador cops save tiny terrified sloth in most adorable highway rescue ever. Can we look at this? I mean, come on. That is just the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. That sounds good. All right, I'll do that. Okay, cool. Bye. Okay. okay, I'm gonna take some time now to photograph this before I get it ready to ship. All right, let's get this baby ready to ship.
it really is so cool to send art out into the world and I'm so grateful to do it like how amazing is it that I can like communicate with someone online paint this painting for them and then ship it out to them like the same day I mean I communicated with my client a couple weeks ago before we finalized everything but like the fact that it's like out into the world is just amazing so yeah, and shout out to the USPS because you can just mail stuff from your house when they pick it up, so. I'm gonna take some time to sit down with my day planner today. I haven't even looked at it yet, which is crazy. And if I don't do this, I will forget things. Example being that Asia just called me and like we we're supposed to talk today later and she was just reminding me and I'm like so glad she did because I didn't even remember because I hadn't looked at my calendar. This is my day designer little A5 that you guys have seen because I shared it with you. So I'm gonna write everything in. I also like to create a list of weekly projects that don't necessarily need to get done on a certain day but are important for me to do within the week. I just wrapped up a phone call with Asia talking about some strategies for our podcast and I'm also working on a hand lettered hand painted logo for a Pilates studio so here you can see had a bunch of examples of some different writings I was doing. I really ended up liking this one, which I didn't expect. Garage workout time. I am painting and like prepping a canvas that I need white. It's not a canvas, it's a piece of wood, but sorry it's so dark right now. There we go. I always say like there's a reason I didn't become a graffiti artist and it's because I'm terrible at spray painting so um, last time I did it Jake told me to use like short fast spray strokes so I'm gonna try that I just wanted to get that painted tonight so I could work on it tomorrow I've also been working on a client logo tonight just like while I watch TV and hang out watching Biggest Loser like one of my favorite shows, but it's not as good as it used to be when it was first started. Bummer. Anyway, that's all for today. Just gonna hang out, take a shower after my workout. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, would love to have you here. Join in on the creative fun, and I'm sending you guys all the positive and creative vibes your way. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.